that guy's a hero. However, if you're the guy that, like, points in the direction that the plane takes off in... <laughs> you know what I mean? We're kind of... We're kind of watering down. True. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, Jesus. Bill Burr's trending? Yeah, I see that. Why is he trending? What do he do now? Oh my god, Bill Burr's wife. Nia giving Trump the double bird. Oh no, that's awesome. Trump mentioned Mao? I love that. I like that the way that we're at, like the, the, the, the place that we're at now is like, it's lighter content. We talk about like American politics of like Donald Trump. Days of eating in England, I now understand why Gordon Ramsay is so mad all the time. <laughs> what the f are you doing? <laughs> Dude, how bad were those rice balls? Oh my god. They were soggy. Isn't that fucking Mama Celeste pizza? <laughs> Dude, this is funny. We walk into this Italian restaurant and I hear this woman mumble it was good. I was go, uh, I go, is it good? She's like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, oh fuck, I thought they were tourists. I don't understand how you can live this close to France and Italy and fuck up a fucking pizza and steak as much as they do. Bro, they fuck up everything. It, like English food is completely carried by by like all of the people that the most racist people don't want to don't want to exist inside of england like they did a whole ass brexit i guess like technically brexit was also fought on on the grounds of like not allowing polish people into the country right so that's a little bit different i guess the quality of their food is no surprise the english became word class sailors yeah no straight up i mean tikka masala is the national dish that's what I mean. They know it. They know it too. But yeah, it's like, it's like the greatest food in Germany is Turkish food. The greatest food in England is, is Indian food. Like out of, out of the, out of like the European countries, like France and Spain kind of carry their own cuisine. But beyond that, like them shit's just not edible, you know? Sorry. Like, I feel like dudes in we're talking about Europe. Why the fuck are people talking about Mexican food? What? Hello? What do you mean? Like, you got great Italian food. You got great Italian food. You got, I mean, we've talked about this before. Like, Eastern European food? Eh. Like, even Eastern European food kind of mid, I'll be honest. Like, listen. Like, cold places, they, the, the fucking food that they make in cold places is, just like, not edible to me. I don't know what it is. Um, Bill Burr's wife flips off Trump and hoggers are mad. Yeah. Yeah, hate. After Bill Burr's wife, Naya Renee Hill's hateful display last night, many people are calling for Bill to be canceled. Remember, he's got to live with this hateful woman. Surely that's punishment enough. <laughs> Naya has a long history of hateful words and actions. Don't attack Bill Burr. Instead, pity him. He and his children have to live with her. God, I hope Trump gets coronavirus. Well, she did. Maybe manifestation Israel. She's hated him for a long time. Thanks to Michelle Witzel for digging these up. Started to watch Miss Universe, but forgot that asshole Trump was involved. Hashtag pass. Naya has been fucking awesome for, since 2012. She's the best. She's the reason why Bill Burr is actually uh, hasn't become like uh, Nia, Nia, Nia, not Naya. Sorry. Why, but I'm gonna come. Turkler beni şey yapıyorlar ya, düzeltiyorlar. Bak, bak, bak, bak, bak. Türkçe söylüyor. Vay amına koyayım ya. Vay, ne hale geldik. 2023 senesinde inanamıyorum ha. Bana adam Türkçe. Bana adam Türkçe. Benim İngilizce isimini Amerikan bir komedinin karısının adını Türkçe bana düzelttiriyor ya. Vay anasını. Helal olsun. Arkadaşlar helal olsun. Sabah akşam dinliyorum bilbürü. <gülüyor> He's right. He's telling me in Turkish how to say Bill Burr's wife's name properly. And then I, I commended him for it. And he said... Every morning, day and night, I listen to Bill Burr. I mean, he's awesome. I love Bill. Bill Burr. <laughs> Bill Burr. Anyway, my point is... <laughs> Bill Burr. Yeah. My point is, uh, uh, Nia is the reason why Bill Burr is, is awesome still. And is, like, not the same out-of-touch piece of shit that, like, Bill Maher is, for example. Obviously, I'm not even comparing them, actually, because even Bill Maher's best uh, doesn't even touch Bill Burr's worst day. Bill Burr has a funny bit on making fun of the military. Making fun of the military, you know, which you can't do now. Like, we totally went the, from Vietnam, all the hippies being like, hey, man, you're like a baby killer, man, to like, now you got to give like a standing ovation when they walk over to Delta, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, show, show that you're not in ISIS. Like, I don't know what you have to do. <laughs> ah, ah, thank you, thank you. And so, 
I do this bit making fun of the military a little bit. And the first time I did it, I did it at a VFW to make sure that it was funny in the right way. And it killed. It was even a dude, he lost his legs. He almost fell out of his chair, <laughs> dying laughing, going, dude, that is so true. So I, they were, you got approval from, from that. veterans. So then yeah. I'm doing it in front of regular people, you know what I mean? So the second up, everybody has a good time with it, except one person. He came all the way up to the front and just starts, didn't even heckle, just started yelling. Hey, show some respect. He's such yelling at me like he's my dad, right? <laughs> so he's like 100 pounds overweight. I'm like, why don't you show some respect and lose a little weight next time you have the middle seat <laughs> on a flight? You won't be spilling over onto your fellow Americans. No, I know. I know. That's off limits because now fat people are heroes. Everybody <laughs> is a hero now. Everyone's a hero. No, I'm going to tell you what about fat people. Your organs are not giving you a standing ovation as you walk over <laughs> to the refrigerator again. What you're doing is dangerous. You got children. Lay off the ice cream. <laughs> it's so brave. It's so brave to be out of that, sh uh, you know, so whatever. So that guy, oh, God. It's like the walls. It's like you're in this walk-in closet of what could be funny. And meanwhile, there's like a swirl of trash with every toothbrush he ever used spinning around the Pacific Ocean. Nobody cares. God forbid you tease the Navy a little bit and people have like, like a conniption. But what did you say about the military that got people so mad? Or this one guy so mad? I was mad? just saying, like, yeah, the guy who flies the fighter jet, okay, and has missiles shot at him, that guy's a hero. However, if you're the guy that, like, points in the direction that the plane takes off in... <laughs> you know what I mean? We're kind of... We're kind of watering down. True. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, Jesus. What is heroic behavior? <laughs> You don't think that guy, the guy who points in the direction is... Yeah, the is, guy doing Warrior One, like the yoga pose? <laughs> like, the battlefield is that way. <laughs> no, but everything has just become that. It's just become like this, right. like, uh, this, you know, that whole first responder thing, you know, all these, like, code words you have to say. It's so stupid. I'm a first responder. I love that one. It's like, dude, I called you. I saw the fire. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? Like, ESP? <laughs> <laughs> we just want to thank first responders and just everything has just become uh, uh. <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> i called you uh the guys pointing the planes are also the most annoying military motherfuckers on the planet too i always hated the anxiety of being in the back of the plane i just remember like the worst is whenever you would get your seat and you'd sit there and they're about ready to close the door and you'd have that empty seat next to you. Like, yes, like yes. the poor man's first class. You're like, oh shit, I'll bring the armrest up. I can actually be great. And then all of a sudden some fat bastard gets on the flat <laughs> and you're like, no, no, no. You're, you're literally, you're like Quint at the end of Jaws, like sliding down the floor. <laughs> right? Ha ha ha, Palestinians are dying, but it has been too much since the conflict began. I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you for coming in here. Thank you for coming in here to to to update uh, everybody that like on one fucking Sunday. Hey, you gave up on Palestine interviews because you were losing your audience. Omega lol. Nothing says nothing says you absolutely love the subject matter like fucking tying it up to like one Sunday where I have a short stream. Follow date November. Follow date November 3rd. Hmm. İzleyicinin böyle saçma fikri düşmesi temel sebebi sensin. Kurt mevzusu ile Filistin mevzusunu tutarsan Türkiye'de... Oh, it's fucking... There you go. Oh, it's a... It's a... Oh, Jesus. He's like a fucking Turkish nationalist piece of shit. Oh, Jesus, Lord mercy. It's so awkward when someone thanks me for my service. I'm like, appreciate it. In my head, I'm just thinking about getting shit faced, doing awful shit for the last of the next four years. This guy... This guy doesn't even give a shit. He, he doesn't even want me to fucking... You're feeling... You're feeling right? You should show what is going on in Gaza lately. Why are you in TwitchCon, though? Why haven't you talked about Jews who are stepped into American Congress buildings? And he's fucking anti-Semitic. What are you trying to prove, bro? Aren't those guys who killed one million Iraqi for alleged chemical weapons? Completely out of topic. What do you think about that 103rd? Uh, yeah, okay, dude. So what? We should terrorize terrorism with terrorism? Yeah, Hamas can catch missile, the gifted missile that catches up to 10 Mach that is sent from space. No, that's ESL, the Jewish voice for peace protest in the Capitol. Oh, he was just trying to talk about that. Well, regardless, we banned him for being a fucking idiot. Called you Albanian? The worst thing that a Turkish nationalist can say to me, other than Greek is Albanian. I love that you make them Eastern European when they have typos. Yeah. The thanking for service is such an American thing. Yes. Uh, it's, it's funny because like, 
I mean, I guess there's a lot of reverence for uh, Mehmet Chik in Turkey as well, but it's not to the same. It's like weirdly enough. Like, I've never once thought about, like, thanking my dad for his fucking service. Like, everybody did mandatory uh, service in Turkey. You know what I mean? That's, like, so stupid. Like, you would never think, because, like, everyone at a certain age, everyone after a certain age is, like, served in the military. So, like, you would never in a million years think about, like, oh, thank you for your service, sir. Like, you'd have to, everybody be saluting each other non-fucking-stop. Every male over the age of, like, 20 would be constantly saluting one another back and forth. Thank you for your service of post 9-11 civic engagement slogan. Yeah, 100%. It's another way to like try and justify the war on terror, which was stupid as fuck and killed a shit ton of people and was devastating to the entire planet. And it was done under false pretense. Shitting on Greeks so much, but you wouldn't have content if it wasn't for Greeks inventing democracy. You're welcome. Thanks, man. Thank you for your service. How about thanking me for my service? I'm out here in the fucking content trenches, okay? Busting ass day in, day out. Busting, okay? Non-stop.